we're good, you know, we, uh, we're married still, you know, even though this is, we're just, just. It's been an eternity of like, chaos. Over the last year, my wife Zoe and I have been tackling a major kitchen renovation in my family's ancestral home. Here's how it all went down. I'm George, and this is my beautiful wife. I'm Zoe, and I live with my husband and our four children and a dog, and I'm a realtor. Oh, oh no, no, you're not eating those. Hey, what did they say? Whoa. No, they say oink. I'm from Vermont originally, met George in New York. We lived in Manhattan and then Brooklyn and then moved out here. Yes, we did. Into this crazy old house. I gave you an offer you couldn't refuse. You know, I said, hey, who doesn't want to move into a old fixer upper that's been in the family for 75 years? When I told her we were going to move into this giant old house, she said, first thing you have to do is you, we've got to renovate the kitchen. That was 11 years ago. I don't know if I can get it back open. Oh, oh yeah! I got it. And Dad is working on the furnace because the furnace is broken. Unfortunately, you can't just come in and do a kitchen. There's a lot of things that have to be done beforehand. Foundation, infrastructure. The guts. The guts, the unsexy project. So fixing the plumbing throughout the house, fixing the electric throughout the we house. We moved in and all the bathrooms broke. We've done four bathrooms. We did the roof, we did the driveway, we did the backyard retention wall, Electric. patio. It's uh, a long list. It, the, it goes on and on it's and on. It's a long, on. very costly list. The, probably the biggest reason we haven't done the kitchen yet is money. It, it, Finances. It is the most expensive room in the house to do. And if you're going to be marrying it to the rest of this old house, you have to do it right and you can't really cut corners. But you have to use the right materials because if you don't, then you're gonna you know, hurt your potential resale value um, and the quality. We need counter space. We need to get rid of the linoleum. It's disgusting and it's actually not cleanable. So I think it's unsanitary at this point. I vacuum it every day, mop it as much as possible. It just never will get clean. You know, lighting the stove with a match is Probably not ideal. No, it's just but, one of many. Um, the vet, there's no, there's no ventilation. Why am I sweating so much? Just, it's we're crammed in there. The time has come, baby. It's kitchen time. We're gonna give it a, a shot. <laughs> the old college try. <laughs> All right, yeah. George the rescue in the own casa. There's goods and there's bads that come with being married to George the rescue. Um, one. I have maybe an inflated sense of I know how to fix anything in a house, and um, that would be a bad. A good is that I have a lot of friends who do know how to do wonderful things inside houses. So I've asked Ryan Hodgson from RTH Building Company, a George Rescue alumni many times over, to help us out. There it is though, the sign is in the yard. All right guys, I think the biggest question is, are you gonna stay here? Yeah, no, no, this, that's, that's not an option. We're living through it. You're gonna live through it. Knowing George and Zoe, there's definitely gonna be some bumps in the road, but I think they're gonna be just fine. The first thing we're gonna do is check the plaster for asbestos. If he's good to go, it's time to start knocking some walls down. So not only are we doing our kitchen, but we are... Living through the renovation, in the renovation, with four kids and a dog. So this is gonna be basically the heart of where our kids are gonna be eating breakfast, lunch, and maybe even dinner. It's gonna be like... Why are you spray painting? You said the heart. Doing this kitchen to do it right and make it really it has to be flow classic with the rest of the house. and timeless. It's gotta be classic, exactly. Classic and timeless, but you are having more of a modern aesthetic, so He's how do we... I'm a little we... afraid of my aesthetic. I'm terrified of it, but... It's gonna be a challenge. I definitely feel pressure. Over here, so we discussed, we originally were gonna do a 30 inch sink. Oh, we were gonna do a 36. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you changed again? Instead of doing the 30 inch column fridge that has no freezer in it, we do a 36 inch that has a freezer in the bottom. The problem here is we are both indecisive. 
Yes. We are both kind of flip floppy where like we get excited about one thing and then change, totally change to something else. I don't know. I think we should, oh God damn. What? Just like this 11th hour, like changing the whole fridge thing is a, is a big deal. I know, well do you want to make a mistake and just be like, ah. No, no, I don't. It's just our kitchen. I don't. I will do some research on the fridge. Okay, thanks. But we need to figure this out. Up until this very minute, they, we were doing the other fridge, so that's all I'm saying. I need, I mean, I, oh, God. I, I just, I, you know, I, I hate confrontation. He's literally running away from me. <laughs> so is our relationship going to survive this renovation? Of course it is. I mean, there is no... Why are you laughing about that? I don't that? know. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Painters Tape. For more info, go to scotchbrand.com slash painters tape. Are you guys getting along? Yeah, you know. How you getting along, huh? Everything was fine until this morning, until we had the appliance conversation. Today, we are meeting with my good friend, also George to the Rescue alumni, Steve Fanuka. So what are we going to talk to him about today? I mean, I guess layout, really. I mean, it's all about how do we make this kitchen work. It's only been 10 years in the making that they've been planning on this kitchen, and it's finally happening. When I first got in, Zoe and George, they seen, you could feel the tension. They're trying to decide still what to do, where things go, you know, and this normally happens between husband and wife. No matter how much they love each other, a kitchen will tear you apart. I'm going to give you some advice, homie. <laughs> happy wife. Happy life. Happy life. Okay, this That's is a, her town. I know, I know. You're a guest in her town. This is her town, and I, I'm just a visitor? I'm a resident. I'm a resident in this town. I pay taxes in this town. Come on, man. As long as it's within your budget, make her happy, because there'll We're be other things that you... Already. We're already over the budget. So you're always going to be over. This is the most expensive room in the house. The kitchen's a compromise, just like a marriage is a compromise. Everything's a compromise. Life's a compromise. You gotta sort of like give and take. I hate confrontation. It literally... He hates it. Oh. Like, he'll vomit. I just want him happy and you happy. I need, I need to, I need a little, I need to trust a little more, though. You want a hug? Yeah. Let's do hug. I always tell my clients, if you're going to splurge, splurge on the appliances. High BTU stoves and ovens really work well, and you can taste the food. If you want to save, you can save maybe on the countertops. You don't have to go with a very expensive species of marble. They have porcelain out there that's a fraction of the cost. Now the fridge is going to come out like a little bit. This is where the fridge is? Right now, right now it's pre-wired for the fridge. That's, that's for the fridge. The fridge is going to go there? No. no. Well, we don't know. Who's on first? <laughs> exactly. Because I don't know. Nobody does. That's the crazy thing. You're putting the appliances all here. It's too much appliance. Your appliance heavy. We had to figure out where things were going. So I think she just needed a little bit of advice. Um, George needed a hug. And now it's time to cook. So this is the day I've been dreading, the actual picking out appliances. Which I've been so excited about. Like, excited, but also anxious because of budget. Literally is the most expensive thing on, like, the list. Here we are, Zoe. Hey, George. Joe, Zoe. Hey, Hi. Zoe, how are you? Pleasure meeting you. Very nice to meet you. This is probably the most tedious part of the uh, project because there's so many choices. Basically, here's a Sub-Zero. I do have a little bit of a concern here. Yeah, I, just want, I just want to see Zoe just get something Can off the top I shelf in that reach fridge. reach anything in this refrigerator? No, just, uh, no, just get the marmalade off the top oh, shelf no. if you don't mind. Jumping, I can do. Right. It's about the quality of the product and the fit and finish of the brand. Uh, is probably the most important, and performance, obviously. Basically, this is a stainless steel piece. This is nice. This one looks a little smaller. Why would I choose this over a lower-end model for my kitchen? The resale value is key, and the function and the longevity of the product. A resale value. You see her eyes light up when you said resale value? Right then, I knew I lost. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Well, we definitely have something to think about because this is really nice and Joe makes some really good points. There is definitely a reason to the madness and uh, I don't know if it's you or Joe or both of you, but you got me. <laughs> we, ca we caused all your madness. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Lowe's.
I've been lucky on George Rescue to be exposed to so many different brands and materials. And when it comes to countertops, Cosentino has always impressed me. And I think that picking out a countertop in many ways is a very important part of the kitchen because like in real estate, I mean, it's one of the first things you're gonna notice when you walk into a kitchen. I definitely need to be educated on the man-made stones because it's not something I've ever been interested in and everybody has told me that I'm crazy to get natural stones. Yeah. The good thing is, hey, <laughs> the good thing is that I'm glad you laughed at that. It has. Well, it was either that or punch you in the face. Exactly. You know, <laughs> and I, uh, I, I knew I was walking that line. So I think Zoe's coming here, kind of knowing what she wants with an idea already. But I'm going to make it a little bit harder for her because I want to show her the technology that Cosentino brings to the table with our engineered products. It's not going to be too easy for her. To show you the performance of Decton, we have this Decton test kit. We have permanent marker. Another disaster could be paint or nail polish. We can light it on fire, which addresses the heat, and we'll let the nail polish burn. I just don't know which of my four kids is going to light nail polish. Leo would put the nail polish and George would light it on fire. It would yeah, be a uh, yeah, team just, effort. Yeah. I was incredibly impressed with Lenny and his demo. I mean, he like pulled out all the stops, but right now I would like to look at some natural stone. Natural stone is gonna be more expensive than man-made materials, and it's not gonna hold up as well. So are you cool with that? You pay more for less protection. Come right in, we'll take Thank a look at some style stone. Look good in the hard hat. I'll show you some Decton. Thanks. I think going with natural stone or our engineered products is a matter of preference. So we can come down here. I have some uh, marble. Oh, wow. So it's that's really that's a statuary of marble there. Maybe that's it. something you're looking for. Yes. Oh, you you said you love it. <laughs> I love it. George, I heard her. You heard. I heard. <laughs> well, they ask us what's the drawback on marble, and I say, look, marble is porous. It's not stain resistant. It can stain, and it wear a lot differently than our quartz or our Decton will for sure. But if they love it, they love it. it I, is it is I'm this just, the one? Yeah. I'm, Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Say yes to the dress. <laughs> it's a sh it's from a show. I know. Yeah, we we all know that. Everyone knows that. Oh. <laughs>So today is a really big day because we are getting our cabinets installed from Fanuka. So we're super excited, right, Rai? Are you very excited today? Uh huh. I know it's gonna be gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, no, stop, stop, stop. Stop talking. Do you still like the slabs? Uh, send it back. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I love them. Actually, I, 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 I'm actually. More, I saw them when I pulled up, and I'm more excited about them now. We've already picked out our natural stone slabs, three of them. I don't want to go buying a fourth, and uh, I have to make sure that I lay it out perfectly. I have to figure out what's going to be the countertops, what's going to be the backsplash. You should probably be doing this. Is I should amazing? definitely yes. be doing this. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm, uh, I'm here without Zoe. Right. So I am putting more pressure on you. Yeah, yeah. Is it better to have this as like my countertop, or, or is this better as my countertop? Which should be my backsplash? How are we going to marry it all together? Because yes. I know that's that's really the art. It's the figuring out, you know, first obviously templating, and then figuring out where it's going to go on the stone. With the layout um, today, the challenge is going to be taking these three slabs and making them fit into a contiguous countertop so it looks natural. Once we cut it, there is no going back. So uh, we need to make sure that everything is perfect before we cut it, and then take our time cutting it. Is it wrong that my heart's beating really, yeah. <laughs> really fast right now? I feel like I might have a heart attack. All right. This one's so much easy. pressure on me. Yeah. Don't worry. We're going to get through this, George. Trust right. me. Trust me. New 3M Filtrate Room Air Purifiers are great at capturing dust and smoke from your construction project, outfitted with a true HEPA filter. Look for Filtrate Room Air Purifiers online to learn more and find a retailer near you. There it is. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let's see what's in here. This is our kitchen sink faucet. And it is gorgeous. The unlacquered brass is actually a live metal. It's 
going to patina, which means it's going to age. This is a very, very high quality faucet. Be careful, sweetie. I hit my... You hit your head? Uh-huh. Hey, Jason, how's it going, man? It's going pretty well. I really appreciate you answering my call. I found myself in a little bit of a conundrum and I figured who better to ask than you. I'm just finishing up my kitchen and I have a hole. I'm a huge fan of the large hole repair kit. I just didn't know if this was the right size hole for that. Okay, yeah, we've got just the thing for you. It's actually a kit that has everything you need to do a large hole repair. It's called the 3M High Strength Large Hole Repair Kit. You can either trim down the plate so that it fits through or you can simply make the hole bigger. Okay, so you'd say if I just expand it a little bit, I'm gonna be able to fit the whole plate in there, pull it out, do the whole process, and make my hole disappear lickety-split. Yeah, allow it to dry overnight, then using the included sanding pad, sand the repair flush to the wall. Prime and paint, and there you have it. A hundred years of sweltering hot summers in this house have come to an end because today our air conditioning units are going in. No more window units. I gotta give it up to Carrier. And with every one of these units, there's another unit that you're gonna have in your house, and that's where you switch out your filter. 3M has just made things a lot easier for when it comes time to change your air filter at home. Simply download the Filtreat Smart App, and you'll never forget to change your air filters again. Look what I got, George. Oh, the cushions have arrived. So George and George to the rescue, he is staging a lot of times. Oh yeah. And in my job in real estate, I am often staging in homes for clients. So we're both used to staging other people's houses. It's kind of weird to stage your own house, but we're going with it. I can officially say the punch list is done. This kitchen is ready for action. How's my hair? Uh, <laughs> you look like Teen Wolf. Well, you know what? This is what a uh, this is what a, this is what a kitchen renovation will do to you in your 40s when you got four kids. You know, a decent dozen years of marriage under your belt. How nice is this, Zoe? It is finally done. Like now it's it's just let the chaos of the kids growing up in here ensue. Our vision has come to fruition. <laughs> That's what I like to say. <laughs> like to actually see it cleaned, like the sconces up, the light fixtures in, the, all the plumbing fixtures working, the appliances. It is the, the happiest, sorry, but it's like, it makes me so happy. It came out perfect, and I, I really couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah. You are my favorite designer. By oh, far. that is so sweet. Yes. I liked true. working with you too. I think all the choices absolutely, you know, totally worked. The, yeah. the natural materials, I'm glad you fought that fight. Probably project. everyone who worked on this project with us, we drove crazy. Because we were always changing, not changing, just contorting a little bit. It was a battle trying to figure out. You're not really a battle between Zoe and I, but like a battle is like, you know, where do you put your money? Where, what do you invest in? Splurge versus save. Yeah, but then with appliances, we wanted to have appliances that would really last for a long time. You know, Mila in the dishwasher, Perlick fridge drawers and drink fridge. I'm glad we did the Wolf range top. Yep. He wouldn't have fit in there. He wouldn't have fit in there. Well, the kitchen is also now easy for the kids to use. And right, it's all about things. making it easier for the kids to use. They have their own snack place, and those fridge drawers are so easy for them. Hey, this is Leo. Leo, what do you think of the new kitchen? I like it. What do you think of the old kitchen? I kind of like it. Do you remember the old kitchen? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> and I love the black floors. We got to talk about the black floors. Huggins coming in here 
and making everything uniform, all black yeah. throughout the whole, the first, whole first floor. floor. Well, I think our biggest fear with this whole project was flow. My family has been in this house for 80 years, and I definitely felt that pressure. What are you feeling sentimental about, Nothing. about the old kitchen? Nothing, zero. You missed Zilch. not one not, thing about it? Uh, no. All of your choices worked. Some were expensive than I thought they were going to be. Oh, but... yeah, that's some of, one of my downfalls. <sighs> I'm not really a bargain hunter. No. I'll work on that. Good, for, for the next right now. Good. <laughs> 12 years of marriage, right? Yep. 10 years of kitchen promises. Finally. Finally. We're done, we're done with the kitchen, we're done. So happy. We, we learned so much doing this project. <laughs> about each other, about our relationship, about our family, about this house, about, about construction. About construction and kitchen design. Oh my gosh. To a completed kitchen. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. You've got a kitchen. I get a kiss. And a hug. Oh, that was really awkward because you spilled my champagne. <laughs> you asked me a few months ago if we where we were going to We're like, still actually friends. Yeah, we are totally friends. I think like we're, we're not just married, but like we still. If anything, I think friends. we're closer. Yeah. Is that possible? I think so. <laughs> I think we're closer. No, we are. Yeah. What's next? Attic. Time for basement, another. Basement. Yard. No, I need a break. Off to the next adventure.